Gel electrophoresis uses electricity to separate fragments of DNA based on their length. An understanding of how DNA migrates in an electrical field is needed in order to properly interpret the results of a gel electrophoresis run. The negative charge on the sugar phosphate backbone of DNA polymers caused them to migrate towards the positive electrode when placed in an electrical field. The rate of movement towards the positive electrode can be influenced by the composition of the material the DNA is placed in. For gel electrophoresis, that material is a porous gel. The pores restrict the movement of the DNA and create an environment in which each individual fragment of DNA moves as a function of its length. The starting point for analyzing DNA samples using gel electrophoresis requires a number of things, including a gel in a gel box with the wells oriented towards the negative electrode, and a set of samples and standards mixed with a loading die. The samples can contain DNA fragments of known or unknown length, and the standards, also called DNA ladders, are run on the same gel in order to get a better estimate of the lengths of the DNA in the samples. These standards can be prepared in the lab ahead of time or purchased pre-made. The loading die pre present in both the samples and the standards helps make sure each well loads properly and makes it easy to keep track of which wells already contain DNA. Once the wells are loaded, the power is turned on. The current creates the electrical field across the gel needed to force the DNA towards the positive end of the circuit. At the beginning of the run, DNA of all lengths move together. As time goes on, the difference in the rate of migration of fragments of different lengths cause them to separate. Longer fragments take more time to move through the pores in the gel, so they move more slowly. Each individual strand of DNA in a sample is too small to be seen. Gel electrophoresis works because the samples and standards contain billions of copies of the DNA fragments being analyzed. Billions of DNA fragments of the same length moving at the same rate form the visible bands. Bands at the same vertical position in two different lanes contain fragments of the same length. Comparing the position of each band to bands in, the, in a standard allows the lengths of the fragments in the samples to be estimated. Standards need to be run in each gel because the absolute position of a band may vary from run to run even though the, the relationship between longer and shorter lengths of DNA does not change. Shorter fragments move faster and are lower in the gel when compared to longer fragments.